Hi, I'm Ted Frick, owner of Classic Swing Golf School at the beautiful Legends Resort. I want to welcome you to the Classic Swing Golf School short game facility. Now, around this green, I've been out here since 2001, and they kindly brought me out here in 2000 to build this green. You can hit every shot you want to hit inside of 30 yards. And I'm telling you daily, with the help of the superintendent, we've come out here, and you're going to see these T markers. And each day, myself or Stephanie or Eddie will come out, and we will move these markers, nine T markers out here in a clockwise fashion because we want our students that arrive early or the ones that stick around later, we want them to go through a nine hole short game assessment. We do a lot of short game schools, a lot of course management schools. And let me tell you what I see. All right, so I'm gonna go over some shots. And I brought out out of my bag, my three wedges. So I use a 58 degree, a 52 degree and my 46, so pitch, Gap sand, sand lob. This is my wedge set makeup, very personal. Well over eight out of 10 students on the course or around this short game field, the mistake they made, and I'm not gonna talk about mechanics, but they played the game with too much loft. And I'm gonna give you a good reason. When you watch the LPGA and the PGA, you are watching them tour players on hard greens that are fast. They are having to get some elevation on the ball and they gotta get the ball to spin and stop. Y'all, that is like high risk, high reward. If you really want your scores to come down with my help, let me show you this picture. So I have a pin located out there. It is about 22 yards, give or take two yards from where I'm standing. And the green itself is approximately, I'm gonna say 10 yards away where that fringe to the green starts. Here's what a lot of students do when they go through the assessment. Cause I tell them in nine holes, it's an up and down game, 18's an awesome number. It doesn't happen much. Here's what most of them are gonna do, boys and girls, young and old. They're gonna come out here with this lofted wedge. Take a look at this shot. My landing areas are red and yellow, all right? Now from where I'm located, this is my experience of swinging a golf club over 50 years now. I wouldn't putt it. And I don't think my wedge, once it lands, I don't think it would, it would be, it would roll out too much. Cause we are a little bit downwind as well. All right, here's the air though. Under good mechanics, which has a nice setup, real soft arms, and quality turn through the golf ball. Watch this shot using a 56 to 60 degree. This is my 58, where I gotta carry it about 75% of the way, ready? All right, so that hits that landing area. Now I know Jimmy, the cameraman's going, Ted, great shot. I practice a lot with my wedges. I'm telling you it's high risk. Now watch this play. All right, so, Golf is a game of misses, quality misses. And there's no doubt around the green. Putt whenever you can putt, especially if you're a good putter. Get the ball on the ground. All right, there's another law that we like to use, the law of the land. And that is to invest in real estate for appreciation over time. That means get the ball on the ground soon. So now I've gone to my, nope, there's a 40, 46. I gotta go back down here. I gotta pull that 52. Now again, good quality, good quality setup, which is close to the golf ball, acknowledging really, really light arms, real soft arms, light grip pressure under a nice lie, and rotation through it. I'm gonna take that deep cleansing breath, make sure my body's relaxed, and now I'm gonna be focused more on this red ring. I'm gonna try to get the ball on the ground sooner and get it rolling, a lot closer to my red ring. Let's watch that thing roll out, look. So you get it on the ground sooner, let the putting gods take over. I'm guaranteed this will help you out so much. Use lower lofted wedges as you go through this 220, uh, 2020 year. It will definitely help lower your scores.